everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've come on today to do a quick and easy 6x6x2 by six by inch little gift box. I wanted to use up some paper pads that um, I've had in my stash for ages and you just take the lid off and there's your box. But these papers are really really pretty. We've got this pad here and there's lots of beautiful pages but you also get like some little journaling cards and things like that or birthday card types of cards and then I've also got this one so I thought while we're stuck in and you know I'll get rid of some of my stash so I've got all these off cuts that I've had these big labels so this this is the pad that I'm going to use for this box today um, so you do need a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and you're going to score on all four sides I've already gone ahead and scored mine at one inches and three inches on all four sides and then for your lid that needs to measure nine and a sixteenth by nine and a sixteenth and you want to score at half an inch and one and a half inches on all four sides and then I just took a happy birthday sentiment off the pack and that measures five and a quarter by five inches. And then I've just laid it up with another piece of a foiled card off the pack. Measures five and a half by five and a quarter. And that will just layer like that. And then I've just got some embellishments as well. So that's oops, all the measurements. Both of these will fold and glue together exactly the same way. So... You just want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Like I used this pack before to make um, a little album that I shared. If you go back, I'm sure it's on one of my videos. Um, it was. I take my girls on a walk every year um, through the summer and I just made this album and this is why I had so many big off cuts because I used a lot of them in this book and then it's bound with rings really thick so um yeah if you want to see that you can just skip back some videos and you'll find it in there somewhere and I have got my little girl behind me at the minute so I'm hoping she stays quiet <laughs> she does like to it's Layla I'm sure you've heard me mention her a few times on my channel she's on a tablet behind me so I'm sure she'll be quiet she said she would <laughs> but yeah needs must really um, I do have three girls at home my oldest daughter's left home now so unfortunately I can't see her at the minute right so that's all them scored and then the same as any box you're going to cut up I can't see my lights are too bright so you're going to cut straight up and then notch and then up that side and then notch and then you're going to cut this end piece off and then we're going to do that again on this side. So straight up and notch. And then along this side. And then just notch there. And then take this end piece off. But don't forget to notch out these as well. I've already put my tape on these ones. And then you're just going to repeat that on the opposite side. It's an absolute beautiful day outside, so I'm hoping the light... I'm not right next to the window, but I'm pretty close. And I do have three lights on my desk as well. With this being white card, it's quite hard to see. Just need to notch that one in a bit more. There we go. 
and then don't forget to match off these side pieces as well and then last one really nice little box this and you can put loads of things in it and it can be for any occasion you don't have to do it for the birthday like I have I just did that because that one was in my stash so what I'm going to do is start to do this one exactly the same as that one and then I'll come back okay so I'm back and I've done that then what we're going to do is put glue on all four of these tabs on the box uh, I'm just going to use wet glue for this. And then turn it around and just get some on this side as well. And then, just like we do any other box, bring in, in them tabs. You will just have to hold it for a little minute and then bring in the other side and that one's come off. <laughs> just holding it. Bring that one back in. You can always bring in your bone folder and just go burnish them down a bit and then again on this side bringing them nicely in and then this side as well I think there's a cleaner outside just a minute yeah I think there's some kind of cleaning lorry outside it's making a racket so bring them in and burnish them down as well and then you can take your pokey tool and just take your tape off, off the sides and bring that down and then burnish and that's going to give you a reinforced edge. So we'll do that on all four, push that in, burnish that down and then go to the next one and just off and then push that down so there you go that's your box base and you could line that as well if you want to it would probably look really nice lined and then you just want to repeat the same thing on the lid you can just skip this now if you don't want to watch me do that again so on these tabs Pop your glue on. I do have a Facebook page as well if you want to go over there and share your own projects on. I'm sure everybody's doing a lot of crafting right now. I know I am. I've been doing some scrapbooking. I did share a video this morning. I've just started getting into scrapbooking. I've um, never done it before, but I have got scrapbooks and things that I bought a while ago. I think they was from every craft a pound for a pound. So I got them and then decided that while I'm in, I'll print some pictures off and um, do some scrapbooking memories for the girls and myself to look back on. Layla really enjoys looking at photos. I have, haven't have videoed all of the pages that I've done, but I have just started doing some interactive pages. So I think once a week, I'll share a scrapbook layout um, the music that I've put on behind the videos is just some free music that you get on YouTube. Um, it's not the best, but um, some people don't like it, some do. Um, but it's the longest one on it, it's only for 50 seconds, so you have to keep on um, resharing it if you like. So, my husband actually used to sing in clubs and things so i've got a lot of recordings of him so i'm gonna try and put him singing behind my music ones 
um, I need to get him to put some of that on my laptop so I can change it. <clears throat> so you just keep on removing your tape all the way around and then just burnishing it down really good and then we're nearly done. So that is my lid and hopefully that should just sit on the top of my box. I always do a sixteenth bigger because it's a really nice flush finish um, and then you don't need any ribbon. So that's the box and also I'll just put my lid on here. When I take, I've got tape on here, showed people before, I've actually seen a few people do it, just peel down the corners of each side, not all the way, like that. So when you turn it over you've got these tabs sticking out and that way it helps you just make sure I've got this the right way around helps you to line it up and get that nice edge without sticking it down so you place it on and then you can still move it and when you're happy with it one minute just pull your tabs off sorry that was Layla just going out of my room she's gone into the living room um, and there you go then you get your nice edge so then I'm going to attach this onto the box, about there. So I'm just going to use my wet glue for that. The glue that I'm using that's in this little bottle is um, Anita's Tacky Glue. I get it from the range, but you can pick it up online anyway, usually. Um, it's this one. Three ninety nine for the big one, and it's a pound for the smaller one. That's what's in my bottle. A few people have asked in the past. Then I've got these cute little flowers, and they're on dimensional, so I'm just going to stick them on. I can pick it off. So I'm going to put one on this corner, and then this one I've doubled it up twice, just to lift it up a bit more. So it sticks higher up than the first flower. Get off. So I'm going to place that one there. And then I've got these two. It was from Stamping Up a while ago. Little wooden embellishments. And I'm just going to pop them on. And then that's it. Nice and quick. And then this one. On oh, there we go. And that's, that's my box finished. So I just want to thank everybody for continuing to watch my channel, to all my new subscribers. Thank you, you know, for all your continued support. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. Hope you have one minute. Um, so yeah, I better go now. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.